morning friends. Today I'd like to take this birdhouse and turn it into this. So sometimes I get these things on clearance because the pattern didn't sell or friends will give them to me because they got them as gifts and they weren't wild about them knowing that I'm going to turn them into something completely different. And if you want to use this outside you'll need to use the patio paint. Deco Art makes a patio paint and there's also a spray top coat that you use over it. It all goes over the outside. And once that top coat degasses, you don't have to worry about it being harmful to the birdies who go inside. And I'll leave the roof as it is, but because my napkin has a little black in there already, it's going to make a nice accent. The first thing I'm going to do is tape this area with some painter's tape so that I don't get the paint on the roof. While that's drying, I want to cut my napkin into quarters. And to make that easier, I'm going to use this repositionable glue stick. And first, if you have a three-ply napkin, you want to take one layer of the napkin off, the bottom layer. Oh, that's a pretty dress. And then you want to add the glue all over the page. Actually, you should tear this out first. Then add your napkin over it, and this just makes it that much easier to cut. And then what it also does is when you go to separate the napkin from the paper, dampen your fingertips a little bit, and when you go to pull away the napkin, that second layer automatically sticks to the paper. And I now have four quarters, and it's just the top layer of my napkin.
By the way guys, if you mess any of this up, with a pattern like this, you can always cut out one of the butterflies or the flowers. You can even cut out a little line of flowers and add it along here. I also wanted to ask if any of you have ever tried the scissor sharpeners that they sell on Amazon. There are a few that I've seen that are, one is a bestseller and Remember, you always used to have to take your scissors to a Joann's, or at least around here, they wanted, you know, they advertised that they sharpen scissors every so often. I don't see that too much now, and I'm wondering if that's because the scissor sharpeners actually work. So, if in the comment section you guys have found a good scissor sharpener that genuinely works, let me know. So, I see a little spot there. I'm going to add a tiny flower where I missed. Actually, I think I'll add just a little leaf. And I'm going to let this side dry before I move on to the other side. Okay, so I'll come right back once this is dry. Okay, so this front part is dry, and before I decoupage anymore, I'm going to take a nail file. This is an acrylic, or a nail file made for acrylic nails, by the way. And I want to go in one direction when I file this. Just like with your nails, if you go back and forth, you can cause damage that you don't really see. But it'll cause these ends to pull up. And you want your decoupage to last as long as it can. Leaves a nice clean edge. I'm just going downwards in this one direction. Okay, so I'm going to go around the rest of my piece whoops, and decoupage it. This is dry, so I'm going to file this off and then wipe away any of the dust that you may have on here before you decoupage. So I'm just going to finish these next two sides and then we'll put the top coat on it. And there's our video for the week, friends my little birdhouse. Hopefully the birdies will like it and use it. It's all dry and ready to go outside and weatherproof because of the spray that I used on it. So I will see you next week with another video. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer and I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks again my friends. Bye-bye.